Greetings, everyone! Ooh, shit. Reverberation. Ow. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Lesser Known But Awesome Heroes. And I promise, guys, this will be the last, like, DC character, at, le at least for a while, because I've already done three, but I wanted to get... But this is going to be the last of three wartime heroes from DC that I wanted to talk about. And if you don't know who this is by the picture, some of you who are old school DC fans from the 60s will recognize this character. But today, the le the third and final wartime hero on the DC side that I'm going to talk about is the Unknown Soldier. However, interesting fact... There was actually another unknown soldier that actually came before DC Comics one, and it was made by Ace Comics. And interesting little tidbit about the Ace Comics version is that it was made in a in in a counter company to DC back during the 60s, back during the 40s, 50s, and 60s when a lot of wartime comics were popular. Um, and it was made by Ace Comics, and it was from Our Flags Comics, and then eventually Dynamite Entertainment, when they did the one-shot Project Superpowers, they actually rechanged the character to Soldier Unknown, and that, and then the second volume of, of Project Superpowers, he was part of, of a team of Ace superheroes called the Super Mystery Men, which was aptly named after the Super Mystery Comics. But I'm not here to talk about that version. I'm here to talk about the DC Comics version. But I just thought that that would be an interesting fact to bring up to you guys. Um, this unknown soldier was actually part of the DC, was part of the original DC Comics, DC Comics line, but was also part of the Vertigo line as well, believe it or not. And the unknown soldier may, made his first appearance, if you even want to consider it, he, there's probably been female unknown soldiers. In Our Army at War, issue number 168, in June of 1966, and was created by Robert Kenire and Joe Kubert. And the Unknown Soldier actually first appeared in a Sergeant Rock story, and it was called the I Knew the Unknown Soldier. And it would be edited into into the line of war comics that were around during the 60s or so. However, the, however, a lot of fans found the character to be so interesting that he had his own solo line. And he would begin in Star Spangled War Stories, running from, running from issue 151 in June to, to July of 1970 to issue 204 of February of 1977. Eventually, it would be fe eventually that eventually Star Spangled War comics would begin featuring the soldier exclusively, and eventually the title, uh, and then eventually with issue 200, 205 in May of 1977, the book would be changed to its own title, The Unknown Soldier, continuing the numbering and running for another 64 issues before ending with two with issue 268 in October of 1982. Now, the series originally took place in, during World War II and the focus was on a mission was on a mission bleh, was followed the missions of a, of a US agent referred to as the unknown soldier whose head and face were so severely disfigured from were so horribly disfigured that he typically would be completely wrapped in heavy bandages. Despite this, he is a master of disguise and can assume the identity of almost any man using latex masks and makeup. However, his disguises you you know occasionally it, occasionally itch where they meet the scar line where they meet the scar tissues on his face, forcing him to be conscious not to give away not you know not to give himself away by scratching. He is also prone to loss of temper at enemy uh, at enemy atrocities and has been seen to blow his cover in this manner. The character uh, was aptly named after the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, which uh, which became a common theme during you know during the first initial runs of the character 
and has even been shown afterwards. Um, he is, uh, the character is symbolic for the nameless soldiers that have fought throughout America's wars, as stated in his, in his first featured story, they came from, Sh from, from Shangri-La, which was in Star Spangled War Stories number 151 in, in June, uh, in June to, to, uh, bleh, June, July of 1970. He is the man who knows, who no one knows, but is known by everyone. A nickname known for the character used in the series as the Immortal GI. And he's and he would have and many illustrious people would and he would of course otherwise would contribute stories alongside the original run. You know many other writers and artists would actually have make their own runs. Um backups would be featured in in in, in enemy ace stories. There would be a there there would be a second series the limited series that would be made in 1988 to 1989. Eventually, in 19 in 1997, Garth Ennis would write Unknown Soldier, a four part mini series under the Vertigo imprint. There would be a DC Showcase Black and White trade collection, which I actually do have, and I've shown you guys. There is a new Unknown Soldier from Vertigo, and this and that and many other things I mean so bottom line guys there have been actually two unknown soldiers not a technically three if you count the ace comics one that's technically three but on DC side there has been a Caucasian unknown soldier and an african-american unknown soldier but but yeah pretty much but yeah, pretty much that is the unknown soldier, guys, and I find the unknown soldier to be very interesting because he's a master of disguise. In a lot of ways, I kind of laugh in a way because the unknown soldier is like DC's version of the Chameleon. You know, the the Spider-Man villain, the Chameleon. At least that's my own opinion on it. Um, I think one of the greatest stories with the unknown soldier that I ever read, guys, was that. He actually, and it was actually based on the actual true events, but the unknown soldier, the first unknown soldier, the Caucasian one during World War during World War Two, actually had to try to impersonate Hitler, and ended up failing to assassinate Hitler because because other Nazi officers wanted to try to murder Hitler. Um, I can't remember the specific name or the issue, but if you guys do a little bit of digging, I recommend that you try to read some excerpts from that. Very good story. But that's the Unknown Soldier. He's lesser known, but nevertheless, incredibly awesome. <laughs>